a few days ago one of my students named aditya sent me this problem well aditya happens to be uh, a student who has enrolled in the engineering drawing course for the btech program he said sir uh, here is a line which is inclined to both hp and vp at the same time one end of the line is in the third quadrant you can clearly see below hp and behind vp while the other that is end q over here is above hp and in front of vp not just that there is a point along the line which intersects this reference line and that point happens to be this point c sir can you draw the projections that means can you create the final front view can you create the final top view he also asked me to calculate all the angles associated that means theta phi alpha beta okay so i'll just give you the details but when you come across such problems where one end is in the third quadrant while the other in the first quadrant things get a bit messy okay so you have got to be very very careful you should be able to visualize it in 3d and only then will you be able to do proper justice to the 2d projection or orthographic projection don't worry i'll give you the details and then we are going to take a look at the projections in 3d first of all and then we will go ahead solve this problem on microsoft powerpoint you can replicate the same on a piece of paper a line pq 150 mm long the true length of the line is 150 mm let me just highlight this here it is has its end p 55 mm behind vp and 35 mm below hp behind and below okay it's a clear cut case of third quadrant the distance behind vp is 55 represented by dp p subscript is for point p right we're talking about point p and d means i mean uh, distance from vp similarly h means a distance above or below hp here we are talking about point p it has been clearly stated that the point or end p of the line is a part of the third quadrant and in third quadrant from projection of point concept we know top view is above front view is below if top view is above non dash will be above xy dashed will be below xy and you know very well hp and vp dp will be above hp will be below we are going to implement all of these things secondly the line makes an angle of 30 degrees with each hp so any angle made with hp represented by theta theta has been given as 30 degrees has a point on it the line pq has a point on it contained in both the reference plane if a point is contained in both the reference plane that means this point c is a part of hp as much as it is a part of vp that essentially means it is on the reference line only so it's a very important data that has been given to us okay now let me take you to autocad first of all let me explain you how all of these things are going to work out in 3d here we go okay so take a look this is the problem and we know very well that's a one end of the line is in the third quadrant you can see this while the other has to be if the line is inclined to hp let me just show this to you here this is the third quadrant this is np right so if the line is inclined to hp draw a horizontal line or this is the hp let me ah uh, this is the horizontal plane okay that's the horizontal plane even i have written it down okay everything in 3d the angle made over here has to be 3 30 degrees so if that is so and if there is a particular point on the line which intersects the reference plane right here the reference line to be very precise the other end has to be in the first quadrant it has not been clearly stated i understand this but whatever conditions have been given to us it points okay or it indicates that the end q of the line has got to be in the first quadrant okay so what about the projections can you make the projections for simply point p and q i surely can let me show that to you here are the projectors point p and its corresponding top view point p and its corresponding front view point q and its corresponding top view q and its corresponding front view let me erase the original line okay switch it off for a while here we go if you have to make what if you have to make the final front view so the final front view will be when you connect p dash with q dash when you do it it is going to look something like this this is going to be the final front view okay green in color right and when you make the final top view you join p with q right front views are dashes top views no dashes remember that so uh top view here it is this is what you've got to make finally that's the front view and that's the 
top view done now let's 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 start this presentation once again so uh let me erase all the highlighting stuff let me start we start by making an xy line okay what do you know sir uh, we know that the location of point p is 55 and 35 and since it is in the third quadrant so dp is going to be above hp is going to be below okay dp and hp funda uh, very nice dp is how much sir dp has been given as 55 so this is going to be 55 55 and this is going to be 35 okay 30 55 above 35 below 55 millimeters from the reference line upwards will get you to point p or the top view 35 mm below the xy line will get you the front view that is p dash let's start very simple 55 above top view so 35 below xy that's the front view this is something that you've already learned in the chapter of projection of points i expect that you have this fundamental knowledge the hd concept i say okay the second thing is we also have been given the angle theta so angle theta can be made using this p dash first of all let me show you that here it is okay i've already exhausted uh, these two datas now i'm also going to use this theta is equal to 30 degrees let me use it with respect to point p dash okay at an angle of 30 degrees draw a line the length is true length how much it is equal to serve 150 done so this is p dash all the points along this line will have a dash okay this is front view not the final front view this is a front view which is initially drawn with an angle theta the final front view is drawn with an angle alpha or it rather creates an angle alpha with the horizontal dancer so if this is p dash wherever it intersects this reference line we can call that c1 dash and this point has to be has to be end q end q and its front view is above xy so if the front view is above xy that means uh, it's a case of first quadrant okay done sir now what okay so far so good now what we can do is first of all uh, i mean all the datas have been exhausted yes sir the next thing to do is take a look you want to create the top view okay take a look at c dash c1 dash i'll tell you something project on top view of p where is the locus of top view of p here project remember this funda okay if this is c1 dash this has got to be c1 simply when you do that keep one leg of your compass at p other leg at c1 okay you've got to rotate it this way right and where is c sir c is along this reference line xy so what you have just got this very point is nothing but point c or its corresponding top view right now you can simply connect p with c join i've, I've made a longer line because i mean the top view of this green line will be a bit long right this is just c okay so if you walk along this line somewhere here you are going to get the top view of point q we are going to get to that don't worry secondly let us start with we have done the analysis for uh, c1 dash now let's do the analysis for q1 dash q1 dash again the same thing project on top view of p where is the top view of p so the top view of p is right here project q1 dash let's call this q1 now let me erase erase now what's up take this much as the radius using your compass rotate okay rotate and you are going to intersect this line this construction line somewhere here this is your exact location of point q okay and i've also made the locus line simultaneously so uh, i'm drawing it in red this is your final top view why top view because these are non-dashed uh, letters p c and q this is your final top view so far so good let me erase these things done okay <clears throat> okay sir we've got the final top view what about the final front view how can you help us 
for a final front view again i mean this green line that you see is the true length okay the true length making an angle theta now we are going to place one more true length with angle phi sir we don't know angle phi we only know theta alpha beta and phi are not known to us we have to work it out okay true length is how much sir it is 150 so what you can do is with an a radius you have to take an arc of radius and that arc is going to have a radius of 150 mm and with p small p the small p as center with the small p as center you need to cut an arc over here of radius 150 mm this very point if this is the locus of q in top view this green line that you are about to draw this is going to be simply q2 okay once again this is q2 for you and if someone ask what is the angle this angle is phi this angle is theta this is the final top view which is going to make angle beta you know these things alpha is left we will work it out not to worry there is a process that you have to follow always okay sir and i am even writing down these steps don't worry so far so good now what to do you've got q2 okay what is q it is the top view how are you going to get the front view okay so you are talking about q2 q2 let me write this project what is q2 sir it is top view so you have to project this q2 on front view of p exactly opposite here we are dealing with q1 dash so we projected it on the top view of p here we are dealing with q2 which is a top view we are going to project it on the front view so dash means front view here you have got top view here no dash that is top view here you have got front view try to identify the pattern these things are really going to help you i mean make the projections very very quickly right do it project on front view of p where is front view of p sir front view of p is right here so from q2 to q2 dash done what now sir you need to take this much from p dash to q2 dash a radius in your compass rotate okay we are going to do this very soon where is the front view of q here is the front view of q rotate until it intersects somewhere here this is going to give you q dash and notice that i have automatically marked this very point as c dash also you know very well that c point is a point on the reference line so if c is here the top view is here the front view will also be coincident right so simply connect p with c dash and with q dash this is your final front view okay it's very very simple i suppose uh if you don't want to locate c through this pattern the other thing that you can do is let's say if this is p dash c1 dash and q1 dash if this is p this is q then somewhere here in the reference line you can say sir this is got to be c2 okay c2 okay if you say this is c2 what you are going to do is project on front view of p same thing project on front view of p so that means you are going to project it somewhere here yes sir what is this going to be if this is c2 this has got to be c2 dash the next thing that you should do is keep one leg of your compass at p dash other leg at c2 dash and then rotate okay rotate on the locus of this c the locus of c is the reference line itself and when you do that you are going to reach here this is going to give you c dash it's that simple right and now for the time being let me erase these things they are not needed follow the shortcut okay so you can clearly see the, the this q dash and q will also be along the straight line and c dash and c well they are coincident perfect now what's a you were also telling us that there are some angles that we need to work out well one of the angles were was given to you already what is that this theta was already given to you you need to work out the remaining angles what are they here they are let me show this to you so these are all the answers that you are going to finally get and yes this is how this problem can be solved it's a bit tough i know it's a tough nut to crack but i'm sure after watching this demonstration you can solve your rather you will be much more confident to solve more problems based on projection of lines where line end points are in the different quadrants okay so if you like find this content helpful do like and share the video subscribe to the channel thank you very much have a nice day